George, good to see you again. How are you? Hey, Doc. Not good. I've had a pain in my back for weeks now, and I can't figure it out. Did you strain yourself exercising? No, I mean, I haven't even left the coop since last winter. Well, hop up on the bed and let me take a look. So, how are Wendy and the kids? They're fine. D do you see anything? You know, I shot an 81 the other day. It was a par 3 course, but it's still an improve. Wait. I think I see what's wrong here. What? Yep. What is yep. it? Yeah, you got a whole duck stuck <gasps> up your ass. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to the Cheesy Does a Cooking Vlog. Today we're making another Thanksgiving special, turducken. What's a f***ing turducken you ask? It's a chicken wrapped in a duck, wrapped in a turkey. It's like a bird burrito. You're gonna start by deboning all three birds. This might be the first time I've ever used a knife on camera, so I figured I should actually show you how to cut this instead of screwing around. Wait. So here we go. Start with the inside birds first. In this case, the chicken. You do this because you want to practice deboning so that by the time you get to the turkey, you've got this down. Start by cutting down the spine on each side. Then cut off the wing tips and tail. We'll use this for gravy. Then pop out the leg joints like this. It's just like cracking your fingers, except you're dislocating his femur from his hip. Cut through the wing joint, then the leg joint. Then work your way down to the rib cage, removing the meat from the ribs. Do the exact same thing on the other side. Wing joint, leg joint, work that body down. Then cut around the wishbone and start pulling upwards. The carcass should peel right out. Boom, baby. Crap, I forgot to take out the leg and wing bones. For the leg bones, just cut around the bones and scrape until you can pull it right off. The wings I'm just gonna cut off and eat later because there's no way I'm gonna try that. Lastly, cut the little arm bones out the same way you do the wings. Now I'm done. Oh wait. I have two more birds. This recipe is stupid and too much work. Don't ever do this. I'm just gonna fast forward the duck because it's literally the exact same process and things are getting gory. Sexy. One note I'm gonna make about the duck is that you do need to cut off the excess skin. This won't cook when it's on the inside and it's just not that pleasant. Leave the skin on that's attached around the meat because that skin holds it all together. Now for the turkey, you've had two birds to practice on. Make sure you don't puncture the skin at the bottom of the breast when you're removing it from the ribs. It's super important. Look what you've done to me! Oh yeah, I forgot to mention something. You're not gonna remove the drumstick bones or the wings, just the thigh bones. So I guess it's not exactly the same. Magically, it's the next day. I was up till 4 a.m. cutting those stupid birds. You see what you're doing to me? Lay the turkey out like Silence of the Lambs. Before we add in the chicken and the duck, we're gonna add some flavor boosters. First, I'm making an herb butter that we'll use inside and outside the turkey. To some room temperature butter, add garlic, rosemary, thyme, salt and pepper. Then let it sit until it firms up because I clearly over melted it in the microwave. Then make a brine. The ingredients here are salt, garlic powder, sugar, and the sweet nectar of two oranges. Then add a little water to make it wet. Next, we're gonna use one of these complimentary needles to inject the brine into the meat. Make sure you're careful not to puncture the skin. Try to squirt your juice in every part of the bird, especially the breast because they tend to dry out. Now we need to make a spice rub. Wait, did you say spice rub? <laughs> In our spice rub, mix together the crap on the left. As usual, measurements in the description link below. Sprinkle on this flavor dust thoroughly. Now we need to add the stuffing. This is the same stuffing of my last video. I think you should check it out. It's definitely not from Chi Dynasty. This stuffing is made with oyster, not doggy. Add a layer of stuffing, but don't overdo it. We still have two more layers. Now add the chicken in the same direction as the turkey. Breast on breast, thigh on thigh. Usually you should add the duck as the middle layer. However, I'm gonna put the duck in the center because duck tastes better at a lower temperature than chicken or turkey. If it's in the middle, it won't cook as fast. Do the same thing as before. Brine all the parts, add a coating of seasoning, then stuffing. Lastly, add the duck layer. Now take a wild guess what we need to do. Yeah, you're intuitive. You seem like you're a reader. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna add is some garlic cloves right in the center and my mini pocket knife that I use for good luck. Now we need to sew this baby's butthole shut. I'm using butcher's twine and a regular large sewing needle. Start by tying one single knot at the top of the breast. Make sure you go through the skin and the muscles. If you go through just the skin, it may tear. 
Then rotate the bird around and start stitching up from the booty hole. Then work your way up to the breast. I know this is a little graphic. It's like that show Nip Tuck. But instead of tummy tucks and boob jobs, you're shoving an animal inside of an animal inside of an animal and burying the evidence. <laughs> When you finish the back, flip it over because we need to do the legs and thighs, but first separate the skin from the turkey breast. This will make the skin cook crispy. Then add your herb butter underneath the skin before we sew the rest of this up. So my hands keep slipping and I just realized something now that I'm almost done. These cloth gloves that I used in the scalp video, link in the top right, are the best dumb thing I've ever bought for a video. Okay, all set. The front and back are stitched up. Aw, look, he's got a little hemorrhoid. Nothing a little cream can't fix up. Here you go, buddy. Last thing we do is truss it up into a tight package. This way, it'll cook evenly. Start by bending the wings behind the body, then tie one knot around as a starting point. Go around the legs and tie them up to the front. Then finish back at the legs again. One last thing we're gonna do is cover the outer skin with salt. This will dry it out and make it extra crispy. Put it in the fridge uncovered and let it sit for at least 24 hours. Meanwhile, I'm going to make a turducken stock that we can use for gravy or soups. I'm not going to go into full detail how to make a stock because I've done this video before. The only difference is to stuff the chicken carcass into the duck carcass into the turkey carcass and cook it out with a mirepoix. Okay, another day has gone by and today's the big day. Friendsgiving, where your friends will judge you on your decision to abandon the traditional turkey for a turducken. It's a lot of pressure, so I'm starting my day off with a Bloody Mary. Here I have some vodka, and all I need is to add the blood. Layer the bottom of the baking pan with some veggies like onion, celery, garlic, carrots, and baby carrots. We eat children too. Break up the onions a bit. Next, add in the guts of the three birds. Here we have wingtip, tails, kidneys, livers, two hearts, the duck was a terrible person, and penises. Believe it or not, this was the turkeys. Add on a baking rack and a little oil to keep it from burning. I also added some rosemary and thyme. All of this combined with turkey drippings is gonna make a really good gravy. Killed it. Okay, here's our turkey. After it's been drying out for about 24 hours, you can see the skin is tacky. This is good. Side note, make sure you take your meat out at least four hours before cooking so it can warm up to room temperature. You'll see why soon. Grab the rest of your herb butter and coat both sides. When you put it in the oven, put it thigh side up. We're gonna cook it 50% of the time on this side, then flip it and finish it with the breasts up. We do this because the top cooks faster than the bottom. The dark meat in the thighs should be cooked to a slightly higher temperature than the breasts. This will ensure your breasts are juicy. Pop this in the oven at 325. Okay, it's been two hours. I'm using a meat thermometer to poke around and gauge the inside temp. Try to guess where the duck and chicken are. In this case, the inside is a little too far apart from the outside in temperature. I didn't rest it long enough. But that's okay. All you need to do if this happens is wrap it up with some foil and reduce the heat to 225 until everything balances out. Okay, another 30 minutes has gone by and there's about a 10 degree separation. That's good. Let's flip the bird over and cook the breasts. Ooh, that's hot. BRB. Best purchase ever. Pop it back in uncovered at 350 until the breasts get to 155. And there we have it. Beautiful and golden outside and about 154 on the inside. Let your turkey rest for at least 30 minutes. The heat is going to continue to rise to about 160 and that's exactly where you want to be. So I removed the legs and wings. Take a look at this baby. Juicy breasts, medium rare duck breasts, it's just perfect. Last thing I'm going to do is make a quick gravy with the pan drippings. Heat up the whole thing to a boil and add in a couple tablespoons of flour. Stir until you get a roux. Then add some of that homemade turducken stock. Reduce it until it thickens and season to taste. Mine tastes like penis. Okay, there you have it, guys. I've chopped the meat into the smorgasbord of protein. We have gravy and all kinds of other crap for Friendsgiving. Sorry for the camel work, guys. It has been a long day and I have no idea what's wrong with me. Weird. Well, well, now it's cut in chunks. Yeah. Oh my god, it's cut in chunks. Oh my god. And we danced, and we cried, and we laughed, and had a really, really, really good time. What are you doing with that duct tape? Our refrigerator broke. Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing with the duct tape? <laughs> it's not cold anymore. <laughs> That's not how duct tape works. <laughs> Take my hand. Let's have a blast and remember this moment for the rest of our lives. Our lives. Our lives. Our lives. Our lives. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Tonight. Tonight. Here you go. Thanks for coming.
Okay. That's it for today, guys. Make sure you look at Sissa. Follow me everywhere at Cheesy Does It Cooking. I did not actually put preparation H onto the turkey. That would be gross, but they don't know that. <laughs> Who wants the good luck meat? Me! <laughs> Is that good? So good. Oh. I'm afraid of how you should... Oh my god! And we danced. And we cried. And we laughed. And had a really, really, really good time. <laughs> uh. How are you gonna clean this up? Good time. Take my hand. Let's have a blast. And remember.